A very good morning and a happy Sunday at the outset to all of you. Uh, in fact, every Sunday my intention is to come up with uh, some of the other topic or a subject which can possibly sensitize and make a better awareness among you all. And today also I've thought something like this and that's the reason I'm here. You all know that uh, Corona and unlocking has done a lot of good things for us. It has done so, so many bad things in the past, but uh, thinking beyond and thinking of something positive, I think uh, social distancing should be taken care of nowadays. Our hand washing, uh, sanitizing itself has given a great insight as to uh, how we have adapted well and we are avoiding a lot of diseases not coming to us. The most important thing is the mask factor. Now mask, uh, people have realized People have realized one thing in common and they are all masked. So you know one thing that you are only able to know it broadly is how do you smell within the mask? I mean, <laughs> how is it? I don't know. But this is uh, Corona which has given us one more insight to think about how we smell at this point in time. But taking a positive perspective from what we are facing as of now, I'll tell you something also more and then touch upon the topic. My grandmother used to say it umpteen times that your diseases, your health, your mental frame, your relationship, your growth, your evolvement, your personality is all controlled by one thing and that one thing is just wait, hold on to some time as I unfold you a great survey. As I was going through, a dentist conducted a survey and he's, he asked he asked so many countrymen, uh, include, including Indians and Americans and Chinese, as to how long do they see their toothbrush. So a Chinese was uh, prompt in answering, said, he said that three months is what is their average time of a brush with their teeth. And what is the association with American? It is just one month. What is to Indian? So Indians started answering this. As is, please have patience as I'll be answering it a little longer version of it. And he said, brushing for few months, dyeing hairs, you know, coloring the hair, painting black for few months, cleaning comb for few months, cleaning ornaments a few months, cleaning machine parts of vehicles few months, dirt between two tiles in bathroom for few months. And then there is also a story which goes endless like turning it back and putting it in that nada. <laughs> so the story of Indian brush is endlessly till eternity. Hope you have guessed the topic. If you are clever enough to, to guess it, I think the topic is none other than the brush. No. Brushing the teeth. No. Oral hygiene. No. It is you, how you do it and how you are going to smell it during this corona time when you will be having the mask and the mask will be a permanent feature. So how to avoid this? I'll straight away come to my point and, and say it. oral hygiene, oral, yes. Now imagine how crocodiles and hippos, they showcase and they clean their teeth. They just open the jaws and let the birds come in and pick their dirt from the teeth and go off. So uh, what a way, a natural way of cleaning their teeth and maintaining oral hygiene. That's one way of looking at it. But let me tell you one story. In 1917, there was one company which came to India and they actually wanted a survey to be done. The survey is how Indians, they do not smell bad at all. They do not have any kind of an oral diseases and hence many are diseases which are prevailing in the Western world not being touched in India. So what is that factor? So they did a survey and they found that largely most of the houses in India and in Indian villages or the urban India were using charcoal and salt. Only two things to take care of their oral hygiene and teeth, sparkling teeth for that matter. But 100 years gone by, cut to you have 2017 when the same company returns back and says that their toothpaste they had a toothpaste. They started with an aluminium. They started with the squeeze tube. Then they said that it's the entire brush. They should be, you know, taking it to brush the teeth because unless you take full of it, you won't be able to, you know, get proper uh, shiny or cleaning. And the same company came in 2017 stating that they have 
charcoal and they have salt too the irony so that's the state of uh, a typical toothpaste company i would not like to name that because i think you must have guessed see this is all is a pre fluoride days it would be considered normal these days it is pretty unusual unless your water is not fluoridated you have a low saliva flow you eat a lot of cardiogenic food nowadays these are a fashion now imagine if i speak about these that you consume every now and then how many of you are detached how many are far away sweet pastries chips cookies crackers white bread sweetened cereals cakes confectionery sweetened muesli bars dried fruits ice cream flavored milk sweet yogurt beer ha and any sugary beverage for that matter in fact about 99% of the body's fluoride is stored in the bones and in teeth so fluoride is essential but the other side of the fluoride being used in larger degree or larger quantity what its effect is to the health and ultimately to the oral hygiene is still a great question now fluoride is also important for preventing dental caries uh, which is also known as cavities this is why it has been added to community water supplies in many countries including india our oral hygiene is poor but as an adult you make more calculus and you need regular cleaning right so what you can do possibly to avoid calculus is quit smoking drink less and drink hard drink what i'm saying is keep the weight off you should not be overweight walking and other regular exercise obviously the one with a toothbrush and toothpaste that should be kept in mind your mouthwash and floss are helpful to maintain good oral hygiene only after toothbrush and toothpaste now i'll tell you uh, 5 years back when i first stepped into a dental clinic this was a very interesting and intelligent doctor she was caring then she was pregnant and when i went to her i asked her doctor what is that which i should take care as a proactive measure not to land up to a dentist she said wrong you should at least see once in a year a go and see a dentist just because your oral hygiene has two two factors two factors major factors one is yes brushing your teeth how do you brush it as soon as you get up early in the morning take a glass of water and do not apply anything on the brush just a dry brush and maybe a with soft bristle do away everything just you know do it with water and clean your teeth once and as soon as you are done with your entire core of your routine in the morning take that brush apply a small 1/4 of toothbrush area and brush it the second thing she says is every now and then whenever you are having a food rinse every post meal you should have whatever you consume you should rinse it properly now the third thing she says is before sleeping you should necessarily it has to be a little milder bristles not hard and not soft maybe something in the middle so brush your teeth before going to sleep right these two things is one factor the other factor is what if you are smelling bad your breath is bad it can be possibly through whatever that you are eating in terms of not properly rinsing your mouth one and the second is definitely it has to do with your tongue if you are able to clean your tongue or scrap your tongue properly with the right scraper i think it will it will help you a lot so there are two aspects to it the doctor went on and said that uh, you should not uh, brush your teeth more than 3 minutes not more than 3 minutes and uh, there is also a caution if you are let's say leaving your office after having a good meal or a heavy breakfast you should also go back and quickly take a tooth brushing so we have talked about not only having brush twice or thrice in a day i mean to the best possible way whatever that you can do and if it is twice minimum that should be a practice regular practice for all of you now the second thing that we talk about is scraping of tongue and the third most important thing is what about the gum hindi wala gum nahi wo bahut hai lekin jo gum hai permanent i think we are talking about the gums that we have which protects our teeth lot of fine capillaries and arteries that flow within that gums if they are massaged regularly every day maybe for 2 minutes 
just plain finger going into your mouth and it's traveling everywhere smooth massage on your gums would definitely ensure a smooth blood flow which will not only keep the health of the teeth proper but also ensure the prosperity the intactment for years to come and the gums massage also plays a very very important role second thing she talks about is flossing flossing is a fantastic exercise and you should do it with maybe a doctor tooth toothpick in case if you are having anything stuck in your teeth why not have a great hygiene going with us because a great hygiene will will definitely ensure a great health both mental and physical if you are orally healthy you would be body healthy take care of yourself thank you